Flutterflow and Adalo are both no-code platforms for building apps, but they take very different approaches. Let's see which one might fit your project needs best. Flutterflow is built on Google's Flutter framework, allowing you to create highly customizable web and mobile apps with production-ready code. It's aimed at users who want visual building, but also the option to export clean Flutter code for devs to expand on. Adelo, on the other hand, focuses on simplicity and speed. It's designed for non-technical users who want to build functional mobile apps quickly, including native iOS and Android builds, without touching a line of code. Adelo is designer friendly and it's beginner friendly. It's drag and drop builder and pre-designed components make it easy to launch an app fast. Flutterflow on the other hand has a steeper learning curve, especially if you plan to use custom functions or integrate complex logic, but it offers far more control. Flutterflow gives pixel-perfect control, animations, and responsive layouts, direct code export. It's great for scaling apps or handing them to devs later. Adalo, uh, design tools are simpler and can feel restrictive for advanced UI needs, but work well for MVPs and small apps. Flutterflow integrates with Firebase out of the box and supports APIs for data sources, authentication, and backend workflows. Adalo includes a built-in database and can connect to external APIs, but complex automation may require tools like Zapier. Also, Adalo's paid plans start around 45 bucks a month, while Flutterflow's premium starts at 30 with additional costs for advanced features like code export and team collab. So, choose Adalo if you need a fast, simple way to launch a mobile app with minimal complexity. And go with Flutterflow if you want more customization, advanced performance, or options to scale with exported Flutter code.